This is your AFN Misawa News Break. I'm Staff Sergeant Jonathan Guzman, and this is your Misawa News Break. Even though it wasn't the first Thursday of the month, 35th Fighter Wing Commander Colonel Timothy Sunville continued Commander's open line by giving us a recap from Exercise Beverly Sunrise. Second iteration of the change in uh, focus to uh, we are not pretending we're somewhere else. We're here. We're getting people that leave out for real on real airplanes. Uh, it, it was another really, really good, um, well, a good exercise and, and, and a, a step in the right direction for, for realism. The exercise also allowed Masawa to test its skills in receiving wounded service members from a C-130. We said, hey, uh, now your patients, you all simulated, got wounded, and we're going to bring you back uh, on stretchers in the back of a C-130. And, and it was great. I, I, I really enjoyed being out there watching, the, watching that plane land and, and engine running, and they're going up to it. And, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot different when you're pulling somebody out of a running C-130 versus a LRS bus that's pretending to be a C-130. And with the completion of the exercise, Colonel Sunval had a few questions he would like to ask the service members of Masawa. Um, how do we, well, what can we do to, one, make it more realistic, two, make it more um, useful uh, to you as a, as in your individual job and then in your, as your unit, uh, exercising whatever your real world mission is and, and how you do that. If you would like to submit your suggestions on how to make the next exercise even better, please seek out your chain of command. That was your AFM Masawa News Break. I'm Staff Sergeant Jonathan Guzman. Thanks for watching.